Happy Hanukkah everybody. It's time to make latkes. Uh, latkes are fun to make um, and we're going to start with, uh, I'll tell you what the ingredients are. It's a big surprise. Potatoes, onions, eggs, salt, pepper, um, flour. You can use flour during uh, Hanukkah. If you make latkes during Passover you would want to use matzo meal and if you like it you can just go ahead and use matzo meal instead of flour anytime. Um, there's no law that says you can't put garlic in, although it's not one of the mandatory ingredients. So when I make latkes, um, there's kind of a controversy about whether you should peel your potatoes, not peel your potatoes. I don't peel my potatoes. I scrub them first, and I've done that before the video started. Um, and then if you don't have a food processor, you can grate your potatoes. You can use a regular grater like this. But if you've got a food processor, it's a lot faster to just throw everything in the food processor. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to turn the food processor on and, and just run them through here. I'm going to cut the potatoes to the right size first. Um, and then I'm going to chop up the onions in the uh, food processor. Here's a little hint that you might not know. When you make um, latkes, most people try and make them right away because potatoes will turn brown when they're, when they're um, cut in the presence of, of air. But if you, um, if you mix your grated potatoes with your chopped onion, the, on the juice from the onion will prevent the potatoes from browning. So you can prepare your latke, um, the potatoes and onions, uh, and put that in the refrigerator and leave it overnight if you need to, and that's a big time saver. Um, don't put the eggs and uh, flour in with it, but it's nice to have the, uh, the uh, grated ingredients ready to go. So I'm going to start this uh, in my food processor. It's going to be noisy, so I'm going to start it, and then we'll come back when all the potatoes are grated. All right, our potatoes are all grated now. this and I'm going to take these grated potatoes and I'm going to put them all into this bowl and then I'm going to squeeze the liquid off of them. I do this just with my hands usually do it over the sink so that the um, potato liquid will just go right into the sink. You want to get these nice and dry though. And after I do this, I'm going to chop up the onion, not grate it, but that's how I do it anyway. I chop the onion um, and then mix them together with our eggs, flour, salt, and pepper. chop these by hand if you want to, um, but again, if you have the food processor out, it's faster and easier. Give them a little rough chop first, though, just to get things moving. And now when I put the onions in, I don't squeeze the onion juice out. I want that onion juice in there. I'm going to put three eggs in. I'm 
doing this the way that I usually do, kind of eyeballing it, but I'll provide a recipe for anybody who wants a recipe. I like a lot of pepper in mine. And then we're just going to give these a good mix. This is going to make a lot of latkes. Um, and latkes freeze pretty well. So if you want to make extras, there's eight nights. So I'm going to give this a good mix and then we're going to come back with the frying pan and we're going to cook them up. So we've mixed up our latke batter. It's a you know thick batter. Um, and I've turned the electric frying pan on to 350 to 375. If you do it on your stove, put it on medium high. And um, you can check to see whether it's, it's ready by taking a very small amount of it and putting it in. And it should do just what it did right here, which is to start to um, bubble up around the, all around it. So I'm going to um, give this another little bit more of a stir. And then this is my way of doing it. If you are not comfortable using your hands, go ahead and use a spoon. But I always just take a small amount of it and form it into sort of a little patty. And then I just put it right in the oil. And that works for me. But if you don't like to put your hands in your food, then use a spoon. And right away you're going to smell the onions cooking. And you're going to see this beautiful bubbling. I used about a little less than a half an inch of oil. Some people use less. Um, I don't like to use more than that because I don't want it to cover up um, the top. And leave about at least a half an inch between the, um, the latkes in the frying pan so that they don't, um, so that the, the temperature of the oil doesn't drop uh, too much. All right, I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll come in for kind of a closer look. So we're in here sizzling away. You have to keep your eye on it because you don't want them to cook too fast because you don't want the bottoms to brown before the potatoes are actually cooked. So, and I kind of smush them down a little bit because I like them real crisp. So the more surface area they get, um, the more crispiness. The, the oil is about 325 now. And if some parts of your pan are hotter than others, then just move these guys around a little bit. As they come out, you can um, drain them briefly on a paper towel, and then um, if you're if you're waiting for um, a number of them to be cooked, then you can um, keep them on a um, on a sheet pan in a 200 degree oven to keep them warm.
we have our latkes. I'm going to turn my frying pan off. And these guys are ready to go. They're ready to serve with applesauce, sour cream, and as I said, um, you can put these in the uh, oven at, at 200 degrees to keep them warm if you, if you're, um, if you need to hold on to them. But um, I can guarantee that that's not going to be necessary in my household because there are three adults in the other room eagerly awaiting the end of this video, and I'm about to go and join them. So happy Hanukkah to everyone. Um, enjoy your latkes and enjoy the holiday, and um, it's been a pleasure. It's